Hey guys, it's Summit, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Bug Reporter app on your iOS 9 developer beta version. Let's jump right into it. Alright, so now you can download iBackup Bot, which I will leave in the link below, in the description below, so you can download it. Just open it up, and it'll have some errors, just ignore them, and it'll load all your backups that you just made. And um, scroll down to your latest backup, go to System Files, and scroll down to Manage Preferences Domain, and double tap on it and go to mobile and then after that you can see in mine I already have a file imported called com.apple.appleseed.feedbackassistant.plist you can import it with that import button right there and I'll provide that in the description below too in a Dropbox file and you can just download that and import that file and all you're gonna have to do is click on that left tab again and re click that restore button make sure your find my iPhone is off before you back up uh, before you begin this process and also back make sure your iTunes backup is not encrypted so if it is encrypted this will not work all right this should take about two minutes or one minute to two minutes so I'm just gonna fast forward this and when you're done you should see a alert that says backup completed and your iPhone will just show a restore in progress and your iPhone should just have a normal setup type of screen Alright, now you can see that I do not have the iOS 9 public beta profile installed, yet I still do have the Feedback Assistant app installed on my iOS 9 device, and this is running the developer beta version, iOS 9 beta 4, and right here, this is the Feedback app, and it's working fine. You might also be wondering how I got this to work, so what I did was log into Bug Reporter, I mean, um, beta.apple.com and installed a public beta profile. I installed it to my device and made a backup with it, explored iBackup bot with it, and found this pro this plist file that wasn't in beta 4. And then I removed the profile and I backed up my device again and I installed it via iBackup bot and that's how it began to work. So the reason why I did this was because I didn't want to keep continuously logging onto radar and report bugs when I just wanted to re report from my iOS device like I could in iOS 8 and this is why I just found out how to do this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe. Peace out.